Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler along with my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Crusaders. We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect in this game. Miami has the edge in this one, and literally, their defensive end has unbelievable speed and quickness off the edge, and that's the main reason I'm picking them to win this one. No doubt about it, sir. I'm picking the king. This one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He sends it off. Irvin fields it at the seven. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. He drops back. He rolls out to the right. Surveys the field. They brought him down for the sack at the 20-yard line. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on the 20-yard line. Number 19 with four wide receivers. And they make the stop at the 21-yard line. Not much on that try, and they'll face a fourth and long. No one on the defensive side of the ball was fooled that time, Brad. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 17 is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. Newman fields it to 41. Not a whole lot on the return. Well, I look at it this way. He didn't fumble, and he didn't lose yardage. What more could you ask for? The offense will start at the 47-yard line. Newman is a deep back as they line up in the eye. He's rolling right, looking. He throws it. Thompson tackles him at the 46. Well, Coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. It's second and three. Ball on the 46-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Option left. And he's tackled at the 39. And they get the first down on the option to the halfback. First down. Look at the throw. Falling back as he throws. But he's tackled at the 35-yard line. And Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. They'll line up at the 35. Second and six. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Moves up in the pocket. Number one. Throws it out there. It's intercepted. What a catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. People tend to think that guys play corner if their hands aren't good enough to play wide receiver. As we just saw, that's not always the case. Sometimes it's actually the opposite. Some guys play receiver instead of corner because they don't want to hit or tackle anybody. Setting up the play action. He scrambled. Looks. Feeling the pressure, and that one's fallen incomplete. Heisman was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up second down. It's second down. Number 19 with three wide receivers, under pressure. He's brought down at the four. From their own four-yard line. Third down. Let's see if the defense puts any pressure on him here. They go with the run. He's taken down at the eight-yard line. Not much going on that drive. Nothing at all. 
but you got to give the defense credit. They really stepped it up. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Number 17 awaits the snap. Number 17 punts it away, and this is just a beauty. Great kick. Newman takes it to the 45. I don't think we'll see this offense get into a similar situation this time. So you think they'll convert on fourth down if they go for it again? Hey, why not? If you're having to go for it on fourth down a lot, you're not doing so hot, sweetheart. They line up at the 46. First down. Number one lines up in the shotgun. Gives it off. Tackle at the 47-yard line. Newman picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll make it second down. It's second and three. Ball on the 47-yard line. They come out with a big set. This is what you call a run blitz. The key is quickly penetrate and disrupt the running back, not allowing him to follow his blockers. Here the defense does a good job and comes up with a nice stop. Here's a third and three. Ball on the 47. Newman lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Tosses it out. And down he goes at the 47. Zero yards on that play. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Wayne back deep to return. He punts this one high in the air. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Miami comes to the line with three wide. Drops back on first down. Surveys the field. He rolls left. Here they come. And they got him. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. McCain go with the eye formation. He drops back. Looking. Throws it out there. And this one falls incomplete. He had to get rid of that one in a hurry. The defensive coordinator cooked up a good blitz package that time, and although it didn't result in a sack, it forced a bad throw. From their own 13-yard line. Third down. Miami sets up in the eye. Drops back to pass. He throws into coverage, and the defense has it. He's taken down at the seven. This one should be interesting. Pass interference on the defense. Spot foul, first down. They got the pass interference right, but I think they missed the holding call back at the line of scrimmage. I didn't see it, Coach, but these refs are calling a pretty good game up to this point, so I'll give them the benefit of that. Going with the shotgun here. He looks to throw on first down. Looks, throws it to the outside. He's hit and taken down. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. First down. They'll line up at the 35. It's first down. Miami lines up in a shotgun set. Stepping up, rolling out to the right side. Number 19 slings it right. He breaks the second tackle. These days, you need a running back who can not only run the football, but who has good hands as well. Yeah, and this kid just put his hands on display. That's a great pickup by this back. First, First down, 10 yards to go. Ball right around midfield. Portis takes it left. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. Couple of yards there. It's second down and eight to go. Miami comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Little handoff, and they'll get him in the backfield. That blitz was coming pretty hard that time, Kirk. There was just nowhere for the running back to go. Great penetration by this defense. Third down, 12 yards to go. 
Ball on their own 48. Number 19 with three wide receivers. A little shake and bake move. Brought down at the 49-yard line. And we have reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. Miami lining up the punt. Number 17 is waiting for the snap. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Newman takes it at the 14. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll start this drive at the 16-yard line. Newman lines up as a single back, number one, with a bullet. And he hits him hard at the 26-yard line. That one worked pretty well. And it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. It's first down. They line up with split backs. First down, look at the throw. He throws it. It's complete. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass off. Well, when you're trying to get to the quarterback with the blitz, you better have some talented corners because they could end up on an island out there all alone. It's second and two. Single set backfield. Setting up the play action. Throws it to the outside. His receiver has it. Henry brings him down at the 45. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. 40 on the offense. 10 yard penalty. He didn't even try to hide it there. That was a blatant holding call. They'll call that every time. From their own 24 yard line. So it's second and 12. Ace backfield. He tackles him for a loss. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call. Only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you. I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee. You can never tell. He drops back. He's looking. And he can't get away from the pressure. The tackle got embarrassed that time, allowing the end to come free for the sack. That's what you call a lookout block. The tackle gets beat and yells, look out! Trust me, it's not what you want to hear as a quarterback. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Wayne is back to receive. Punts the ball away. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. But Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. He drops back. He steps up, looking, and he is drilled at the 49. From the 49-yard line, second down. The Hurricanes line up in an eye formation under heavy pressure. They bring the quarterback down. Third and obviously a big possession. They have to get the ball in the end zone right here. And this is their last opportunity, Kirk. If they don't score here, then they can call it a night. The offense will take over at the 21. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Let's it fly. This one is incomplete. Carver was the intended receiver on the play, so that'll make it second down. Second down. Ball of the 21 yard line. He's looking to pass. He unloads it. And it's the tight end. Taylor tackles him at the 29-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice gain for the offense. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. Pro formation here. They hand off on the counter. And they got him for a loss. 
That's a two yard loss. Loss of two on the play. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. One man backfield. Drops back to pass. He throws left, and he brings it down. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. And on fourth down, they come up big. They needed a fresh set of downs, but they still have a long ways to go, Kirk. Yeah, Coach, but they're taking it one step at a time, and that's exactly what they need to do to get the ball down the field. First down. He drops back. Throw short. Someone got a hand on it. You know, the quarterback didn't do anything wrong there. This is just a great play defensively. I think he underestimated the speed of the defensive player. He just shot in and broke it up. Number one lines up in the shotgun. He steps up, chucks it right. He snags it. And he's tackled at the 48. And the pass is caught, but he goes nowhere. Yeah, nice job there by the defense to get to him and make the sure tackle before he can make any moves to break loose. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 48. They line up with split back. Back to pass. Looks. He passes it. Batted ball. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Newman alone in the backfield. They need this pass. And it falls incomplete. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. They'll take over at the 48. They're packed in tight on the line. He jukes them. He's taken down at the 47. The Hurricanes call for a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. It's second down and nine to go. They line up in the jumbo set. They'll give it off here. Tackle at the 41 yard line. Miami will take their second time out of the half. Defense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 41. It has the distance. And he just didn't have the leg for this one. Well, that's a tough break for these guys who were looking to put three points up on the board. This drive will start at the 41. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. He passes it. It's deflected. Almost picked off. Not a great throw by the quarterback. I don't know who he was throwing that one to. <laughs> I know. I think the intended receiver was the safety. For all of you watching, it's been a great game, and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. And that's pretty much going to do it. Coach, what's your final thought on the game?
Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. We've got rainy conditions today for our game with the Iowa State Cyclones and the LSU Tigers. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Tigers. The Cyclones are pretty heavy underdogs in this game. What do you think is going to happen out here today, Kirk? LSU is led by their outstanding linebacker. His talent is unparalleled, but what really makes him stand out is his leadership. His team responds to his no-quit attitude, and they should win big today. Hey, 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 who do you think I'm picking? The Tigers... Jumbo set here. Davis takes the toss right. They sure shut down the halfback on that play. Boy, they were in the backfield in a hurry. The back just had no space to run the football. It's second and goal. Ball on the 17. Iowa State lines up with three receivers. Under heavy pressure. Let's it fly. Touchdown! And that gives them the lead. Great touchdown. It gives them a two-point lead and add the extra point, and we'll have a three-point game. This should be a very exciting finish, Coach. It's all going to come down to how this offense runs the show on their next possession. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Marker down, and I think this came after the kick. So with just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Iowa State 10, LSU 7. Iowa State ready to kick this one off. And this one's away. Steven fields it at the 11. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Down three, under two minutes to go. It doesn't get much more exciting than this, Kurt. And this is it. A field goal will tie it, and a touchdown would most likely win it. Everything comes down to this possession. LSU lines up with a shotgun set. Russell drops back on first down. Francis with the tackle at the 36-yard line. And he threw that ball in there nicely. Did you see that, Coach? Yes, I did, Brad, and that was a good pass and a very good game. They line up at the 36. Second and two coming up here. The Tigers line up with a single set back to you. Russell throws. He snags it. Way to look it in. There's a flag on the play. Holding. And now, the penalty is the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Russell lines up in the shotgun. Russell drops the throw. Throws. And this one falls incomplete. Cannon was the intended target, so that'll make it second down. They line up at the 41. So it's second and 10. The Tigers line up with Trips Wright. He throws it. Incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. From their own 41-yard line, third and 10. He drops back. Looking. Russell rifles it. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding. On the offense. The penalty is declined. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 26. The Cyclone line up with three wide. Davis. Gets the call, and they'll bring him down behind the line. The Cyclones call for a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Right. 
from their own 23-yard line. Second down. Wallace has trips to the right. Tackle for a loss. Nowhere to go on that play, Coach. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brad. This is a great job by the defense in not giving him any room to create anything. From their own 20-yard line, it's third down. Iowa State lines up in a goal line set. Play fake. He throws it, and he brings it down. And he's tackled at the 37. Iowa State calls a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. It's first and ten. Iowa State comes out of the shotgun. Wallace hands off. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. Davis gains about two yards on the run. That'll bring up second down. From their own 39-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. From the gun. He got hit hard. LSU will take their first time out of the half. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Cyclone line up in a goal line formation. Got his man. Knocked out of bounds at the 50-yard line. That is a big-time pass. I love the coach's confidence in this kid with this much time left in the game. Especially considering that they have the lead. All they have to do now is just run the clock out. What a game it's been. No kidding. This battle wasn't decided until the final minute. Great job by both teams today. First down. Iowa State lines up in a shotgun set. Wallace back to pass. Got it to the senior. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. LSU will have one timeout remaining. First down. It's up, and it's no good. It lands short. Well, fellas, he can't come through with three points. Like corners who get beat on deep routes and quarterbacks who throw a pick, kickers also have to have a short memory. Yeah, I think this guy will be ready to go on his next kick. And I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. Russell lets it fly, and it's incomplete. This one's in the books, folks. Kirk, any final thoughts here? There's folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Iowa State 10, LSU 7. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. We 
may see a lot of players wearing gloves because it's cold for this game between the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles and the Wisconsin Badgers. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Badgers. The Badgers are the juggernaut in this game. Who should we be looking out for today, Kirk? Southern Miss has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. I'm just not going to agree, Kirk. I'll guarantee it. Wisconsin back. at the 23. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. Yo, nice run and good job to keep the chains moving. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'd be hard to keep them out of the end zone. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. Wisconsin sets up in the eye. Play gets it on the inside. Woods tackles him for a loss on the play. And he couldn't go anywhere on that run. Nah, he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. The defensive front got a good push and knocked that offensive line backwards. We're down to just a minute in this game. Wisconsin will line up in a jumbo set here. Play gets the call again. And he's tackled at the 19-yard line. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Surveys the field, lets it fly, and down he goes at the nine. Good pick up by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. It's first and goal. They're threatening inside the 20. Single set back to you. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. Defense gets set to defend the short field. Play is the deep back as they line up in the eye. And they'll run him again. McCollum with the tackle at the five. Wisconsin will have one timeout remaining. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. They line up in an eye. Wilson, hands off. And they make the stop at the four. The Badgers call a timeout, and that was their last timeout. It's fourth down. This one is from 21 yards out. It's up, and it's through the upright. Nestler joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. The players will have to battle cold temperatures in the game tonight between the Memphis Tigers and the Washington Huskies. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Huskies. 
The Huskies are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Washington is so explosive because they try to get the ball into this receiver's hands as much as possible. And what he can do after the catch is what makes him one of the best in the game. And they'll win this game big. All right, here you go, kids. You, watch out for the... One man backfield. Craig drops back to pass. He throws it. Caught. Rodgers with a takedown at the 23-yard line. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas. I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. Third down. Anderson, the lone back. Craig set to go to the air. Throws this one out to the right. Another catch. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. It's tipped. Intercepted. They got to the quarterback a little late there. First of all, the pass. After this is to the goal, automatic Man, that first was close. It looked like his momentum just carried him to the quarterback. That was definitely a late hit. He could have easily got out of the way. Instead, he just ran right through. Memphis comes out of the shotgun. Craig steps back to pass. Throws it out there. He's taken down at the four. Bonner looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. It seems to me that he landed on his arm a little awkwardly. We've got second and goal. Four yards out. The Tigers line up with a single set backfield. He's looking for his man. The defender had it and then dropped it. Essex was the intended target, so that'll make it third down. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Craig comes to the line with three wide, with a quick throw. He overthrew the intended receiver. Oh, boy, they take a shot here at the end zone, and he just let that one get away from him. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. Back to pass. Looks to the end zone. And it falls incomplete. They turn the ball over after going for it on fourth down. Yeah, but they still made the right call. At this stage in the game, they'll try anything to get back in it. 